Lord God, I just thank you so much for you being who you are, Lord God. Uh, Lord God, I thank you for what you're doing in each and every one of our lives. Lord God, continue to work on us. Lord God, we pray for just a great work. God, give me the strength and the energy. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I think we're just in a groove right now, you know. John's been fighting every three, four months, and uh, everything is just getting so smooth. What's up, brother? I think this momentum for John has been great. You know, when he was young and, and first became champ, we were kind of fighting at a similar pace. And that's when he was able to take out all of the legends. The mindset's strong, the team's unified, and uh, we just want to line up all these challenges this year and make a statement for John being the greatest of all time. Take a good look at yourselves, guys. Possibly the best team ever. The best I'm excited for war. It's time to get it. Time to do it to it. Do what I was born to do. Okay, start out. So we go one minute rope, one minute, 30 seconds, down, back. Just three times, just to give sweat. Give sweat, okay? Light on your feet, 30 seconds, good. Freestyle, nice and easy. Loosen the feet, loosen the shoulders. It is a scorcher in the desert right now, man. The only people enjoying this right now are Tiago, the rattlesnakes, and the tarantulas, that's about it. So we're out here with the animals, but it's a beautiful day. We won't be out here too long, get my man to crack a sweat, and then, uh, we're gonna jump back into some recovery mode inside. Five seconds. Relax. Okay, shadow box. You can mix your punches up, change your footwork, change your angles, shake those shoulders out. Bop, bop, bop. Pretty low volume, low intensity work compared to what we've been doing. Finished up his last hard week of training last week. Uh, he's a big body, so now we're kind of in recovery mode. We're also gonna jumpstart the weight cutting process, so breaking a good sweat. Okay, relax. Nice and easy, real slow, take your time. Nice, easy jog, yep, down and back, down and back. So, just tying everything together, making sure all systems are go, so he feels 100%, feels ready to rock and roll come this weekend. Get up there, go. Nice. Go. Every fight, to me, whether I'm underdog or not on paper, I still see it how it is for me. And I do feel like this is one of my toughest fights to date, not just because I'm the underdog and there's all this pressure and all that, but that she's a tough fighter. She's a you know champion two different weight classes for a reason, but that doesn't mean that I'm not capable. Go. 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 Right now, it's like that. You want to go harder because the fight's coming. You feel like you should be pushing it. but. You know, it's time to like taper down, so it's like try not to go too hard, but break a sweat, be ready, be sharp. Keep them hands up, go. Always wear that. Go. For me, it's more the focus when I'm working out to make sure that I'm still keeping on the same game plan that I'm supposed to be, you know, executing on fight day. Good, right there. Go. I believe that I can do this, so I just want to go in there and get it done. Nice, nice. Rotate it up, guys. Give me somebody Where else. Anybody, or you can stay with the same person if you want to be monogamous, that's absolutely fine. We don't judge in this gym. You can be polyamorous or monogamous. <laughs> but what you have to be is actively trying to punch each other in the face from the mounts. Work on out of there, work on out of there. Bridge, roll, high bridges, high bridges, high bridges. Push on the knees, get to the guard, get on your ribs. Ronda Rousey, you ain't the only one with arm bars around here, girl. I'm gonna get 20 on each leg. Yeah. You got me two left? Just 20, 20 spinning back kicks on each leg. There you go. He's my prodigy right here. He's a football player, but we got him, got him into MMA. And uh, it's pretty promising. I, I think we're gonna try to call him the Samoan Nightmare. Tule Ulale. Mark Hunt, watch your ass. Watch your hats, Mark Hunt. It's a new Samoan in town, and he's my guy. I thought I was born to fight. 
I really do. I'm really starting to believe that, man. Honestly, I think we beat him everywhere. If he wants to fight me hard and fast pace, let him tire himself out. So I know between the two of them, they're going to want like four sides of ketchup <laughs> and, and two sides of mustard. I tried calling you too, so to see what you want. I got you a bacon cheeseburger with sweet potato fries. I don't know, but you can change it. She's right here. Swag, would you know what's on Versace? Let me see. What song is it? It goes Versace, Versace. Versace, Versace. <laughs> Versace, oh, Versace. I got the TV on, sound turned down, and the fun. It's a sad song. It's a sad song. Sign me up, yo. Diddy, come sign me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not best. How about you sing one for me? Country? Yeah. Or anything? Anything. Here's one growing up with my friend Kara. Okay. All right? All right. T Largo, Montego, baby, why don't we go to the Coco Mo? Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay, Coach Wink. I might press her. I might press her. No, I'm not. No, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Come on, Coach. Uh, now I'm, I'm getting a rental car. I like having my freedom. I don't like being picked up by uh, DOC and carted around. And rental cars are always cheap in Vegas, so I got one. Yeah, I'm gonna go out to the PI after this too. Just get a quick little workout in. My wife bought me one of those uh, like bird scooters to bring out here, and uh, they don't fit in normal bags. Now I have this enormous, oversized golf bag with uh, just like a handful of clothes in it. Like there's almost nothing in there. It's pretty ridiculous, actually. Look at this effing obnoxious thing. It's so ridiculous. Look at this. See, it doesn't barely even drag because it's there's nothing in it. Well, let's go to the rental car. Are you making fun of my bag? <laughs> Should've got a Range Rover, that would've been nice. <laughs> All right, we got three and a half miles. This car's kind of fast a little bit, huh? Nissan Altima? So we got George and, uh, you know, now he wants to put on this role as though it was his idea to take the fight. It definitely was not. He was trying to do everything he could to avoid it. I think often when you talk bigger and bolder, there's a, uh, you know, it's it's almost like I'm gonna pump myself up type of mentality more than, like, listen, I get in a cage and fight people for a living. You think I'm scared because you're gonna say some crazy shit? Like, were you not, if if you didn't like me, if you did like me, were you not gonna try to hurt me then? Were you gonna try to like play patty cake and let me win? Or what were you gonna do? I think it's gonna be an ultra dominant performance by me. That's kind of what I've said the whole time. I think I'm just a lot better than him. I think I'm gonna bring a lot to the table that he's not gonna be able to handle. And then he's just gonna get in deep water and he's not gonna know how to deal with it. He's gonna get frustrated. It's gonna make it worse. I can help you. Yeah, here to work out at the PI. Come on in, man. Have Thank you, appreciate it. I feel like it's so nice when they greet you by name. Very polite.